Good morning, Egal family. So, um... I don't even know how to say this, but I guess the easiest way to say it is that the civic horror story continues. So really quickly, cause I have to get going and do this stuff quick. We bought the new Honda, the one from video one, the one that guy, the guy was like telling me like, oh, give me a break. And he was wasting my time. Like I'm telling him like, hey, can I go see the car today? We ended up buying that one, right? And when we bought it, it needed a little bit of a tune, but the car still drove perfectly fine. I drove it all the way home from Bloomington Normal, which is a two hour drive Monday or Tuesday I, I forgot which day it was I believe Tuesday actually I was gonna take the car to go register it at the Secretary of State and whatever car did fine I drove it to work it was like functioning normally and then on my way home the motor literally blew up it shot a rod through the bottom of the block so I'll show you guys once I put the car into the garage uh, my homie boosted Brandon's on his way we're gonna take the head off of the car to make sure that there is no more damage well we're gonna see what damage there is is, to be honest hopefully the damage that's on there is just the bottom end and not the head because if that's the case then we just need to buy a bottom end so i'm gonna go and shovel the driveway because there's a lot of snow on the driveway and i need to push the car into the garage and we need to also take the em1 out the garage so yeah i have a little bit to do in not too much time so i will probably see you guys once the em1 is out of the garage and the other civic frankenstein civic is in the garage all right, so as I said, the motor took a shit. I was driving and it literally, I was actually on the phone with Boosted Brandon when it happened, which is crazy. I told him that the car was idling weird, that it had actually shut off on me. Like mid drive, it just turned off on me. It went to 3000 RPMs and then just turned off. And then um, whatever, I'm driving, I passed the intersection and I'm about at 3000 RPMs, like fourth gear. And the car was just like driving normal. <laughs> and then all, all I hear is that thing turn, Brandon calls it a Subaru. <laughs> it turned into a Subaru. Cause it just went and then I hear boom, 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 boom. Like just metal going everywhere. I see a bunch of smoke fly out the back of the car, front of the car, and then I pulled over. And I'll show you guys in a little bit, but we basically have a hole about this big where the rod is shooting out of. So right now we are going to be taking off the head of the motor to see if we did any more damage. And you know, Busa Brandon knows all about all of this. So we basically started by labeling everything, taking pictures of all of the sensors, everything, so that way I remember where they go when we plug everything back in. And then the first step is what? To take off the valve cover? So first step is just take off the valve cover. And then, well actually the first step is put the tunes on and I haven't done first step. So I'm gonna go get a speaker real quick while Brandon takes off the valve cover. And you, you wanna make sure that you have a clean workspace to organize all your tools. So I need to kind of clean mine a little bit, but yeah, that is what we're doing first. Just take off the valve cover. I'll be updating you guys but valve cover comes off first. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Illustrate the new ones come with the... Huh? New ones come with the new uh, hardware. The new, uh, when you get a new valve cover gasket. Because you're going to need a new one. Oh, it comes with all these little... Yeah, the little washer shit. It comes with all brand new of those though? Yeah. Those little washers? That's yeah. Alright, as you guys can see, valve cover is off. And now we're about to check if the motor is destroyed, huh? If the whole thing is blown? Yeah. The way to do that is just by checking the spark plugs. Because if the piston, when it shot up, destroyed our spark plugs, well then our whole thing is smoked. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's check. That's not good. All right, number one, check. Two, check. That was the, wait, wait, that, I feel like that was a scary one because it's so Yeah, that, this is scary one. All right, ready, ready, let's go, let's do it. Oh, it'll do one to come out. Nice, small room. Okay. okay. Oh, oh god, I need you guys. Oh, let, let me, me see. Last one. Last one. Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> let's go! Oh, that's so fire, bro. Oh my god, dude. That is like the first good thing that has happened to me within having all these goddamn civics, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 
on me. All right, so we're making good progress. We basically took off the throttle body cable, disconnected all of the injector cables. The fuel return line had to come off. Uh, what else? We took the manifold off, but we didn't fully take the manifold off. Just unbolted it so that way it sits forward. The belt is off. Uh, we're jacking the car up right now because we're gonna drain the coolant. And then, yeah, not a lot of stuff left. I guess when you, know, when you have someone who does this literally every other day, <laughs> I guess you get this done <laughs> real quick, so. Damn, they put studs on these. All right, it's negative 30 degrees outside. So that's why I have this heater, but basically it was a quick job. So here's the head of the motor. And this is block. So you can see here, that is where the motor blew, right there. So motor blew right there. We got everything off in about an hour. It was relatively easy. That's it. Now I just got to find the new bottom end and take everything off and put everything back on. There were also some cool things about that. It has a sandwich plate already, ARP studs, a lot of nice things that the guy didn't tell me about. So this guy actually plugged me instead of scamming me, which is nice. But yeah, that's it for, for now. I will be starting to clean all this stuff up too, like um, cleaning the springs, valves, everything like that, kind of bolting on all the little stuff just not today it's too cold i'm done for today but yeah i'll see you guys on whenever the next day is i don't know So today, I went to Huntley to pick up a B18A1, and it's actually the entire motor, so that's nice. We only need the bottom end. 